Hello, I'm Brian Germain from Safety First on Skydab Radio. You may have heard my voice, maybe not seen my face, but I have an idea that I want to spread. I'm not the first person to come up with this idea, but hopefully this video will spread to the ends of the earth and, uh, and people will take this idea seriously. We've got GoPros everywhere now and I think uh, they're fantastic. I absolutely love the idea of having a small lightweight camera on my head so I can see the details of my skydive afterwards and learn from it. However, if I get a line wrapped around my helmet and I can't get my helmet off, I'm not going to learn from anything. So, this is a very simple addition to any helmet that is held on with a Fastex. All you need to do is do a finger trap that's tight around the narrow part of the Fastex buckle and then anchor it at some other point in the helmet. I just drilled a hole in here and put washers uh, on either side and bolted it on there. So let's take a look at how this works. If I'm wearing gloves, there's a chance that I won't be able to find this little thing how, in an emergency situation where things are pulling up on me and I can't uh, you know, accurately get to that buckle. That is a pretty cool invention, isn't it? So check it out. Boom! I'm now ready to get out of this helmet. And of course, I want to dirt dive it, get good at that emergency procedure, just as if I was executing my emergency procedures uh, for cutting away a parachute. I want to get this helmet off in the event that my main parachute or somebody else's main parachute is attached to it. So <clears throat> I want to get really skillful in the art of, first of all, finding this, and second of all, getting out of the helmet the fastest possible way. Chin up on helmets with full chin cups, not going to work. So on a full face like this Cookie G3, which I absolutely love, um, I think it makes sense to add on this one little safety measure uh, that anybody can do at their house, I think. Um, you don't even need uh, a whole lot of rigging training. If your rigger on the drop zone is willing to make these for you, that's great. If not, I think that you can probably handle it yourself, right? Most of us can handle uh, some simple rigging like this. This can change your, the course of your day. So consider it. Spread the word. Be safe. I'm Brian Germain. Thank you for joining us. the little things about the little things